So, uh, the game of Swashbuckler is pretty simple. Uh, there will be people coming from the left and from the right, and we have to um, swashbuckle them? Uh, more accurately, we just have to stab them. Uh, the controls, which I had to look up, I forget, from time to time, uh, on the left-hand side of the keyboard, you have the letters A, D, and S. Um, A moves left, D moves right, and S flips you left and right, so you spin around 180. On the other side, you've got I, J, M, and L. I puts your sword up, M puts it in the middle, uh, M puts it down, which you need a lot, uh, and L is lunge and stab. Uh, so that, those are the controls and here we go. As you can see, once you get past that screen. So, uh, this is me in the middle. This is a, uh, ogre type dude. And when he raises his, uh, uh, thing up there, then, uh, then we get him. Let's see here. I'm trying to, you know what? I, it sounds like the sound is coming from the speakers and not through the stream. Although the sound isn't, uh terribly interesting but that is uh i'm afraid what it's gonna what it's gonna be now uh once you've killed the first two now you start getting two at a time and there's a trick to keeping these guys down and that is uh once you kill him Lunge immediately again, and if he regenerates, they regenerate like just a slight bit further back from where you stabbed him. So the idea is to push him back against the edge, and then you can stab him. <laughs> you stab that guy and the guy that regenerated. And then, uh, yeah, see, I wasn't quite, quite to the edge. You kind of got to push him all the way back to the edge to do this trick, uh, which is not that hard to do. Now we got to flip around and hit M to stab that guy in the ground. Oh, flip M, M. Okay. Come on, raise that. Let's push this guy back a little bit. By the way, um, uh, if you see it on the bottom, my score, that's how many people we've killed. That That's the only score. 15 and 16 right there. I believe when I uh, booted this up earlier, it said the current score on this disc is 230. <laughs> um, I think you get three men up. Oh. You don't actually have to... Oh, now we've switched to a pirate. You notice there's a pirate pirate guys over here now. Uh, but same same background. But background will be changing soon enough as well. All right. Hey, Texas. What's going on? You know, there were people from Texas at Boat Fest. Uh... I think uh, tapes from the crypt was from Texas. You could have uh, could have come and just uh, hopped in the LRV. You couldn't have got a, a worse bed than uh, than me and Jeff. And true, I you know I if, if I owned an RV, uh, I mean the first thing I would do is just make all the beds sleepable, like. And, and I, I mean, if I think if you weigh a buck fifty, you know, then they're probably not terrible. But I don't weigh a buck fifty. Oh, here we go. Oh boy. So now we're at the level two, guys. Now these guys have like these harpoons and spears and stuff, and they got a lot longer reach. So you kind of gotta go in, but uh, you can't uh, just run in as fast as we were before. Uh oh, flip down. Flip. We actually uh, talked about um, 
maybe stopping to get a uh, inflatable mattress or something. Or uh, and we brought a. My wife had something. She said it's like for sleeping on uh, uh, in a tent, like on the ground that unrolls and inflates or something. So we brought that, and then I brought the. Uh, uh, oh no! Oh no! Uh, one of the mattresses from my van, which I, um, uh, put on top of the other mattress. Uh, I see you over there, dinosaur muskrat thing, whatever you are. Okay, so I mean, there's, it's very doubtful that I would get the high score, which, like I said, I think is 200 and something, but I am doing really good. <laughs> I will say that. Now, see how they're closing in on me? Like, I should have tried to push that guy back a little bit. Ah, uh, he stabbed me right in the back. I was trying to turn around and. Um, one of the problems with this game is it's, uh, because it's all keyboard controls, you can kind of get like a keyboard buffer. Like if you hit stab, oh, now we're on the, now we're on the boat. Uh, if, if you hit keys like over and over and over, like you hit stab 10 times and it will just build up like in the keyboard buffer. Oh, did you see that dude? So if I could kind of push him back a little bit. Get back. Get back. Get back, Jojo. Oh, oh that, was, that wasn't fair. Well, that was just a nick. Jojo says he almost wishes that we could go back to games like this. And, you know, the... Um, um, the thing is, is that, I mean, if even if you did, I don't know. Boy, this guy's aggressive. It looks like Pierre. I'm going to call this guy Pierre. Come on, Pierre. Oh, no. Jeez. Uh, the problem is I don't know what you would sell it for because, I mean, there's there's games that are, uh, uh, oh, boy. Oh, got me with the edge of the thing. I'm on my last man. That guy's coming. There's a scorpion coming. That guy's coming. Oh. That's it. 63 and a high score is 231. Gets a little crazy uh, there towards the end. Uh, I mean, there are big, huge, amazing games that are 99 cents on Steam. You know what I mean? So I don't, I don't know. If you did a game like this, I don't know. What would you charge for it? You know, nickel? <laughs> I don't know what people would pay for something like this. Uh, just scrolling back. Yeah, Pencil says that was a mystery to meet uh, uh, Tapes. I agree with you. I, I hadn't seen him. I hadn't uh, um, uh, met him before or heard his voice. So, um, uh, so yeah, he was uh, a cool guy to meet and talk to. Um, I do feel like um, there were lessons in the RV that could be applied to the van. And part of one of the lessons is like, Stuff, um, uh, like th there's parts of the RV that they spent a ton on that I never used, you know? And so those are just things that I, and also in the RV, um, there's an area like between, there's like one of those booth bench seats, you know? And, uh, and then there, and then between that and the rear bed, there was this wide storage thing that went floor to ceiling. You could have stored a ton of stuff in it. And what they had were three pullout drawers and then, which was like half of it. And then the other half was a giant closet. And in the closet, they had blankets and pillows. So and that was all filled, just blankets and pillows. And then the bottom drawers, one was, two of them were, uh, cutlery and silverware and then the bottom one was towels so it was this entire storage thing and it was just filled up with just a few minor things and stuff that we didn't need like we didn't use any other silverware we didn't use any other stuff 
Uh, so yeah, it, it was, um, uh, for us, you know, like I would, I would never build a dedicated thing for silverware in a, in a small vehicle like that, you know? Oh, look at this dude. Amigo Aaron said he liked how at the end of the game, everybody just did a little a dance. And, and I do agree with that. It's kind of like, it's almost like a play. Like at the end, they're like, all right, take a bow, everybody. Uh, Dredzu asked if a uh, Tintin was there. Tintin was not there. Um, I have not met uh, Tintin in person. Uh, I would love to. I know, uh, he, you know, he lives in my town, and uh, I know approximately. I mean, I know uh, what what part of town he lives in, uh, generally speaking. And uh, I would uh, one of these days, I would love to. Um, uh, just hit him up and say, Hey, I'm going to a flea market or something. You know, you want to go meet me there and then just go walk around and, and uh, look at that. I'm going to do that one of these days. Um, but, uh, today they were saying on the news that, uh, there's a chance that we will break the all time high temperature in Oklahoma, uh, which is currently 105 degrees. So I haven't been watching the temperature closely because surprisingly I've spent as much time as possible today indoors. So I am like a, uh, uh, like I, I don't want to see 105. Uh, I'm enjoying, uh, I'm an air conditioner, uh, indoor type of guy. Oh boy. Cobra Kai. Well, that was weird. A little Cobra Kai. Oh, look, it changed right there to the pirate. It's always a, it's, it's a good, I mean, I don't say you should depend on that trick. So you can kind of trick them sometimes by putting your sword up uh, and then they'll raise their sword and then you can stick them or sometimes they'll just stab you if you're doing that. See like that. Uh, amigo Aaron says, uh, the RV is like a rental house. They try to set you up to make it. So you have everything you need, uh, normally that you wouldn't do that. Well, I, yeah, I agree with you. And, and one of the things that the guy said was like, he said there was a lot of stuff in there and he said some of it wasn't his. He said, because like, um, for example, uh, if you're going to go in there, maybe you, you're, you're shopping beforehand and you buy a roll of paper towels. Well, then you use 10 paper towels. So. What do you do? You just leave the rest of them in the RV, right? So there was already stuff in there from other people. And and he said, you know, so, um, come on, come on, die. Okay, let's push this dude back a little bit. Oh, no, we didn't push it back that far. Okay, but that's good. Um... There was a, uh, but this is the other funny thing too. And, and this is just kind of how uh, Jeff and I travel or I mean me, I know. Um, but so there were things that, like in the RV, like uh, there was a, a, a propane uh, stove top. There were, there was a Keurig. Uh, there was a microwave. There were all these things there available to prepare food and, and eat food and all that. And then every morning we went to McDonald's or, um, Twice we went to uh, Biscuit World, Two Doors, Tudors. I don't know if it's Tudors or Two Doors, uh, Biscuit World in Hurricane. So, uh, oh boy, okay, now we're out to the harpoon level here. I won't you die. <laughs> uh, so, you know, we could have we could have cooked food, we could have done all those things, but we just chose not to, right? Um, especially in the morning when you're like, you just want some coffee. You want to go in and sit down. And also, um, it's like you, you're, um, when you're in the RV, you, you're in this cramped space and, uh, uh, you know, even if, even if you're stretched out, it just feels a little claustrophobic, like you're closed in all the time, you know? So, so in the morning, the last thing I wanted to do was cook breakfast in there. Uh, I wanted to get out, stretch my legs, walk into McDonald's, like go in McDonald's. Like I don't normally go inside McDonald's and eat, but you know, to go inside there, um, it's just a nice break from being in the RV. Right. So, um, 
Uh, but but it also it's different too. Like if we were at a campground or something, then obviously we would be doing that. Or if we were on the road, uh, and or if we were also trying to save money, right? But we you know we had budgeted for for the trip and for food and stuff, so we weren't trying to save uh, you know every little every last cent. But yeah, and also I think if you had like kids or something, then yeah, you know, if you have kids, you take a loaf of bread and, and sandwich stuff and you have a lot of sandwiches, but we just, uh, you know, we were just having fun. And, and, uh, that, that's what I told Jeff. Uh, oh no, this dude, get a little aggressive over here. You need to get back on your side over there, buddy. Yeah, like that. All right, comes old Pierre. We're back to Pierre here. What are we at? 55? What did I get last time? 60 something? Oh, and that's another good point. Curtis says the only time he wanted to stay in when there was bad weather, you know. Um, uh, we had the uh, uh, privilege uh, to take advantage of. Um, uh, amigo Aaron's generosity and parked the RV in his driveway. Uh, so we felt safe the entire time. Uh, and so that wasn't an issue, but, uh, some of the amenities in the RV, like the air conditioner run off of the generator, you have to have the generator going. And, uh, we didn't particularly want to, uh, make, give, uh, uh, Aaron trouble with his neighbors by running the generator all night. Uh, next to their house. So we, we, oh, got me with the old poison stick there. Oh, little ogre Larry's coming out swinging. But, uh, and, and this, by the way, this game, uh, uh, is exactly what Boat Fest was like. If, if you, if you didn't see the pictures, it was literally just some people, you know, um, Oh, I forgot. I could push his body. <laughs> I forgot about that. I'm pushing your body back over there, Pierre. Uh, it was just, uh, you know, a bunch of people uh, in a room stabbing each other with uh, poison clubs and, and uh, pirate swords and harpoons. Exactly what it was like. Yeah, it was, um, I mean, I don't know why they call it Boat Fest. It should just be called Crazy Sword uh, Stab Fest, really. Uh, oh, hey, 1010. Uh, so Boat Fest comes from uh, the organizer uh, who's alien. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did I die? I think I died. I think the muskrat got me. Uh, comes from the organizer uh, whose alias is Boat of Car. Boat is uh, one of the, the two hosts of the uh, Amigos podcast as well. Um, and uh, Boat of Car, which is a odd uh, phrase in English, Boat of Car, uh, is also a They Might Be Giants song, uh, which I listened to on YouTube uh, not too long ago for the first time. I never heard that song. Uh, and I believe... Oh, no! If the song is to be taken on level, it's literally about a giant big car. <laughs> I got a bad feeling about this one. If you, oh boy. Yeah, it's just too close. Dance party, dance party, we are all dead. <laughs> oh, um, running the gauntlet was L. Curtis Boyle's uh, favorite part of Boat Fest. He only needed 27 stitches this year. You know, I'm surprised nobody needed stitches from the ramp. To get to Boat Fest, which was, uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say not ADA compliant. Um, <laughs> that um, uh, There was a ramp. So the uh, uh, convention was upstairs from a pub that has closed down. 
Uh, but so between the time that the event was organized and the time that it happened, the pub downstairs closed down. Uh, and so, uh, um, there's a ramp for everyone to get their equipment up. And the first day it was raining a little bit and, uh, my feet, there were, there were like those, uh, strips of, uh, like grip tape on there, like boat grip tape, you know, but there was a time or two where my feet, if you didn't step directly on those, your feet slipped a little bit. And I was very, very surprised uh, that there weren't any uh, accidents. We're going to give Swashbuckler one more round. The current high score, my current high score is 80. Uh, we are playing a couple of boat-inspired uh, games on tonight's stream in honor of Boat Fest. So after uh, this game, we'll take a short break. break. Uh, I will learn English. And then we will take a look at, uh, I didn't take a lot of photos, uh, maybe 30 or so. We'll take a look at my photos from uh, this year's Boat Fest. And uh, there's a very good chance, I think about two-thirds of the people that are in this uh, chat right now may see themselves. Oh, Tintin says he uh, has just ordered the components for a mister. I highly recommend it. Uh, I was just playing mine earlier. They just added, uh, last week they added about 10 new arcade cores, uh, two of which were Jungle King and Elevator Action. So uh, I tried those out last night. They were great. Um, you know, Mr., of course, is, is super accurate. Um, you know, they, they prefer the term simulation over emulation. But what's what's even better than that is not the level of, of uh, accuracy, although that uh, level of accuracy is amazing. But the, the thing that I love the most about it is when you turn it on, there's a script you could run or that you, you have to run, more or less, called Update All. And Update All goes through and goes, well, here's every emulator, and it just downloads them, downloads everything. Or there's an update, and it updates everything, or there's new BIOSes or this or that, um, or updates to the actual Mr. Core so, uh, you know, it's not like, man, with a Raspberry Pi, you know, where you're uh, constantly having to upgrade things or, uh, you know, I remember with WinVice, uh, and I love WinVice, but I found out I'd been running an outdated version for years, you know. Um, I just didn't know. I never looked for an update. So, um, uh, yeah, Mr. I mean, just for that, that um, aspect of it right there makes it so convenient. I really, I really enjoy that feature. Yeah, the uh, uh, the the ramp uh, uh, the ramp was was questionable, uh, Mr. Gordonfield. This is on, running on an Apple II. Uh, this is running on a, a, a Apple Apple II emulator. Um, yeah, this is. Uh, I don't know that this ever got ported to the Commodore sixty four. Maybe it did, but I'm not sure. But uh, this is a swashbuckler, and then I. This is uh, by the same guy that did uh, Aztec. If you ever played Aztec on the Apple, that's why the graphics look similar. Um, the guy looks similar. Oh, boy. Now level two. I don't know. Maybe it's level three. Hard to keep track. Down. Dribble stab. Got the scorpion and the dude. Now, again, i got to go back to my trick we learned. The further apart these guys are, the more time you have. So you could kind of... I don't know that you're supposed to be able to scoot his body back. I mean, the idea is that... Because it really the game makes that happen because you, it doesn't want uh, both guys on the same side. It, it always wants you to have a, a guy on each side. Because why would it let you do that? Ten Ten says there's a uh, basically a two month lead time for the DE10, which is the main board on the Mister. But you can save some money doing it that way, and it's always um, um, always kind of rewarding, you know, to uh, put that stuff together yourself. Uh, if you need help getting anything up on that, uh, definitely reach out. I think about half the people here have Misters. I'm gonna be in trouble if this muskrat love shows up.
Why don't you stay over there, Captain Cook, while I push your buddy back over here. Yeah, the problem with uh, the you know the the price of misters for a long time just kept going up and up and up and uh, now the, there's um you know one card uh oh had my finger off the M button uh there there's two to th well I mean for the mister you have to have one card for sure you have to have the DE ten right um but uh ah I was trying to check up this guy behind me is getting a little getting a little aggressive. Uh, then the second is, uh, you got that USB add on thing, which, um, I don't know, uh, uh, not, not everybody has, I have that. Um, and it's just like a, a thing with USB. I like there's seven USB ports all around there, which, um, uh, I don't know what all people put on there. It's like I put, um. A mouse and a keyboard, like if you're going to do computer emulation, that's kind of handy, you know, for Amiga or, or uh, uh, Atari ST, stuff like that. Um, uh, and then uh, oh, this guy's getting a little aggressive. Oh, and then now you're going to send old Spearhead Johnny after me here. Now this dude... You go back over there. Uh, so, yeah, I definitely don't use all my uh, uh, USB ports. Um, and then the third board that goes on the top uh, gives you... There's two choices. And uh, one gives you a second digital output for video. And the other one gives you analog output for video, uh, like a VGA port. And that's the one I chose. And each one of those uh, give you physical buttons on the top of the mister. Now, I when I bought mine, I thought, I don't understand how, uh, how you would use this thing without those physical buttons. You have to have the buttons. You have to have the buttons. That's, that was my opinion at first. Uh, I will say now that I never, ever, ever use the buttons. I never use the buttons. Uh, because you can, you can do what the buttons do either through the controller, mostly, or... Uh, Oh boy, this is bad. Uh, I gotta get you to go back. Why don't you go back to caveman land over there a little bit? No, no, no. Oh. Go back. No, go back. I didn't mean to kill you. Oh, now we got Captain. K oh boy. Uh, this is. Well, look at my score. This is my beat my score from last time. It's a miracle. Somebody call the news. Oh, oh, call the pirate news. <laughs> Is there a... No, no, no! He's getting too fast. Look how fast he's going now. Oh, that's what I need, a giant tarantula. You get over there. It's like a... Oh, I didn't mean to kill you. Just... Oh, he killed me twice. You see that? He got all three of my guys. Oh, no. 92. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with that. 